Hey everyone, this is Ron Tran with Educational Technology Services and today I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on how you can upload your own videos to YouTube. So I'm on the front page of YouTube and the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm signed into my Denison account. And I'm going to go down to YouTube Studio. Now if you haven't made a YouTube account through your Denison email, it's going to prompt you to make a channel first. So go ahead and do that and you're going to get to your channel dashboard. So if this is the first time you're accessing YouTube Studio, you'll have the option to upload videos here, or I can go up to this arrow in the top right and upload videos. So I have the option to drag and drop, or I can click on select files, and I'm going to find the video I want to upload. So I have it right here, I'm going to click on open. And from here it's going to take you through a three-step process while you can see your video uploading down here. So you can choose your title, write a description if you want. You'll have the option to change the thumbnail as soon as your video is done processing or YouTube will just choose one for you automatically. If your professor is having you upload multiple videos, then you could create a playlist and save them all there. In this case, I'm not going to add it to a playlist. And here, if it's asking you, is this video made for kids? I'm going to click on no, it's not made for kids. This isn't super important. It's just a setting to make sure that your video doesn't get lumped into YouTube's kids algorithm. Um, but we'll also have the option to make our videos private, which you'll see in a sec. So I'll click on next. And this next slide isn't super important either for our purposes, but gives you the option to add an end card to your video. I'm going to click on next again. And so this third step is where I can decide who is able to view my video. So in case you just want to send it to your professor, you can choose private which means you can decide who has access to the video as opposed to unlisted where anyone who has the link can view the video. So if for some reason your professor would send the link to another person, they would be able to watch it too. So I'm going to choose private and now I can click save. So your video may take some time to upload in process. So you can close out of this window, but make sure that you keep your browser open until the video is done processing. Now, if you have a larger video file, it may take longer to process and you can go check on it by clicking over here on videos. And so my movie is done processing and what I can do is if I click on details, it's going to take me to my video details and here I can change all the options, my thumbnail, title, description. But if you remember, we changed our visibility to private. And so in order to share it with your professor, I'm going to go up to this menu next to the save button and click on share privately and it's going to open up another window and from here I could either let everyone at denison.edu anyone with a Denison email be able to view it or in my case I can just enter my professor's email and I can send it to them and they will be the only ones that I know of that will be able to view the video. So there you go just a quick demo on how to upload your videos to YouTube to share with your professors it's very convenient and easy to keep all of the videos you need in one place. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to ets at denison.edu. Thanks for watching.